Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about more unconventional lip colors, what my favorites are, we're going to try some on my lips and I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks on how I pick a shade that I feel like fits me but it's still unconventional. I'm just going to talk a little bit about my favorites, let you know how to pick something for you, and maybe you can get inspired because I know that this is something that a bunch of you have actually asked for. Like, what are my favorite unconventional lip colors? I'm gonna show you. I'm also gonna try out some new to me, losing my top, on my lips, and we're gonna see how those look, and we'll just chat a bit. This is a, just a casual trying on lipsticks, talking a bit about my favorites and letting you know how I do when I when I wear unconventional lip colors. This was a long and winded way of saying we're gonna try on some really fun lip colors. And if you haven't been here before, hello, my name is Angie. I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful things. So we're heading into that direction today. I did film this look, by the way. I think it's already live. I'll put it up here in the corner. I'll also link it in the description box in case you're interested in seeing how I did this like mauve smoky eye. Maybe you're interested, what do I know? And if you're interested in seeing more videos, you should definitely subscribe because I do upload five videos a week. Okay, I'm gonna start by taking off this lip color. This chair, I swear. Let me take this one off. <laughs> My lips are gonna hate me after this. Look at how it just looks now. I'm just gonna, let me, let me fix this just a little bit. Hold. Mm. This is gonna be a painful video. I don't know why I thought it, this was gonna be a good idea. Okay, back to blank canvas. I have a couple of lips here that I want to talk about. Some of these are new to me. Some of these are like my favorite. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my. Let's do this in big different categories and let me start by talking about color theory. I think that unconventional lip colors are lip colors that not, it's not the norm. It's not what people usually wear and it's the kind of lip colors that I usually see in comments. I would never wear a blue lippy. I would never wear a green lippy. I would never wear a yellow lippy. I would even count orange because a lot of people will like stray away from orange which is a shame because it's my favorite lip color. And I also see it with like blacks and grays and stuff like that, lilacs, pastel shades. Here is my like theory on like colors and which ones will make you maybe feel more at home and which ones won't. I have a warm undertone so I prefer unconventional lip colors that are warm leaning because it doesn't clash too much with my undertone. Personal preference, like I said, orange is my favorite, I love yellow leaning lippies and I love grays that is a warm gray. Keep that in mind. And I also really uh, did enjoy a, like a khaki green, a teal green or a blue. Even though it can look very striking and very cool on me, it also clashes too much with my complexion. So for me, somehow it's too much even for me. But if you have a cooler undertone, maybe a cooler toned unconventional lip color would be best for you. And if you have a pink undertone and having a yellow lippy, I don't think you're gonna like it if I'm gonna be totally honest, unless you are totally fearless, which is, good for you but I did buy a new green lippy because I was missing having a green lippy so much I declared the old one and it's a more warmer green and more khaki army green one that has a bit of an olive warmth to it and that fits me better so now I have it again in my life let's talk about my favorite orange lippies uh, maybe that's not as unconventional but some people really do stray away from it I will say these are my three favorite orange lipsticks, I think. Yes, these are my fav three, favorite three orange lipsticks. And this one, this one is my absolute favorite. This is such a great orange lipstick, but it's discontinued and I don't think ColourPop is bringing it back. It's called Check Please. I mean, I guess no one bought it. I bought it because look at this. I love it. This truly is a true orange lippy and I think it's fantastic. I love this lip color so much, but most people don't go for lip color like this and I understand. If you want to try an orange lip color and you are a bit more of a cooler undertone and you feel like these yellow toned orange lipsticks is not for you, I would recommend either, either going the more terracotta nude or going the more coral route, having something that has a little bit more pink in it because it will probably match your skin tone a bit better. 
but a bright orange lipstick like this just makes me so happy. I didn't bring in any glosses because I feel like an orange gloss maybe isn't as crazy as an orange lipstick but I love Check Please and I don't think it's coming back because I saw Colourpop naming another new product Check Please and they have said before that they only have like only one product can have another product can have a similar name something like that so I don't think this is coming back which is a shame because I think that this is beautiful okay I didn't get all of it off but we'll be fine because I can't. This is the most orange of the Proper Beauty lipstick. This is Made It. This is my favorite Proper Beauty lipstick. This is a more wearable orange, but still a very warm orange. Do you see that this one just has a little bit more brown in it? It's not as bright as the other one, but you can see that it's still a warm orange. It's definitely not a pinky coral orange. If you want to try an orange lip color and you don't want to go too bright and you also have a warm or a neutral undertone, Made it from Proper Beauty. First of all, it's a black owned indie brand, black woman owned indie brand even, and it's very affordable. You can save even more on this. I think there are $12 each and you can get 15% off if you use my code and Jessica, I will leave it down below. But the formula is beautiful and this color is a wearable orange. So this is an unconventional color because it is indeed an orange. Like everyone can see that this is an orange. It's not like it's, oh yeah, that's a no, it's an orange. But it's mixed with enough brown to make it like you, you're dipping your toes into crazy orange. But I love this lipstick. I think it's beautiful. And I want to show another beautiful lipstick as well. And this is, this has a bit of a, like wax blooming. But this is a Quest from um, <laughs> Little Cosmetics. I was like, what's their name? This is lighter. Still in orange, but lighter. And it's also so beautiful and so different and I love that they came out with a color like that. I think it's beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Okay, let me show you a quest. You see that this is the same idea. It is a orange, definitely an orange, but it's mixed with enough brown to make it a wearable orange. I don't like these as much as I like the Proper Beauty. I think the Proper Beauty has a little bit better of a formula, but if you're in Europe and you wanted to get a wearable nudie orange, this is definitely it. This is Quest by Lethal. This is just slightly lighter, but I... Mm, I love this. I love this so much. I think it's such a pretty color. If you wanted to ever take a lipstick like this and you think that it's a bit crazy, just do a lip liner. And see, it's like taking it down a bit, straight away. Just a little bit more wearable. All of it, like this would be blended, of course, better. But just using a lip liner that's a more nude, like this one is a, just a milk chocolate, to just blend out the edges a bit. If you think that something is either too light or just too weird, could also help make a unconventional lipstick be more wearable. But I will say the biggest trick to wearing an unconventional lipstick is to not care and to just think it's fun and beautiful as it is because if you don't care people are going to compliment you but if you look like you're like questioning yourself and you're a bit unsure people are going to question you as well if you're just wearing it proud like look at how beautiful i am that's exactly what people are going to see i'm just going to take off as much of this as i can and we're going to try one of my new lippies because when I bought the green lipstick, uh, when I wanted to have a green lipstick in my life again, I got it from We Makeup, which is an Italian-based indie brand. They have a lot of really cool lipstick colors. And if you are into like teals and blues and stuff, they have that as well, even though I haven't worn them. But this one is an army green, but I also got an orange one. So let's try this one out, because this is new. Like, I'm taking it out of the packaging for the first time. Ooh, this is indeed orange. So let's try this on. Ooh, orange! Wow, such a bright, it's not too, it's not as brown as the other ones, but it's not as bright as the first one from Colourpop. It's like a happy middle, it's like a, 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 a bright pumpkin. Not the perfect application, but I mean, I'm taking it off, but wow. That is a stunning bright, but still mixed with enough brown to be wearable. It's not as bright as the Check Please, even though I love an orange like this, but you can see the difference. It's just a little bit more mute. Wow, what a beautiful color. Let me see what number this one has, because they are numbers 25. So this is number 25. Stunning. Stunning. Love it. Should we try the green one as well? 
These do dry down completely until a absolutely no transfer, like a transfer proof formula. If you do not like lip, liquid lipsticks that dry down completely, if you think that is too dry and you might not like this formula, but if you like that it's a pretty light, like a liquidy formula, you might like these. I enjoy them and I have been wearing them a lot and this, oh, it's so pretty. Can't I, oh, I'm so happy about this. I want to do something around this like now, I now. But I'm gonna put a green on. Let me put the green on and I'll come back. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, oh, like a nice olivey green. It's a little bit more cool tone, but a green like this will always be a bit more wearable than like a, like a pastel green or a bright kermit green or a lime green. This will always be a little bit more wearable because of the more, uh, how it's like made a bit more subtle. Does this make sense? That is the green. That is the green. This is number 91 or is it 16? No, 91. Number 91 and I mean, this is cool. This is more like I said, like an army green. It has like still like it's green. It's a green lipstick, but it's more like wearing a vampy lip because it doesn't have that bright like Kermit green coming at you. It doesn't have any of those pastel hues, so it won't look make your complexion or your teeth look weird. I feel like this works really good at making your teeth look. I mean, as wet as they can be when you don't have bleached teeth. But I love a color like this and I think it's so pretty and so fun to wear as a vampy lip color instead of a dark wine or a dark mauve or a dark whatever. Something like this. Of course, you can wear a black color as well. I don't usually go for black lipstick. I don't even know. Do I still have a black... Uh, I think I still have a black lipstick somewhere. I didn't pull it out for this. I mean, it's an unconventional lip color, but I will say... Never wear that. This one is of course new to me, so hoping to whip it out in a video in the future. But yeah, I'm super excited to have a green one in my life again. It's really nice. And also when you're wearing unconventional lip colors like this, it's sometimes it's really nice to have like a transfer proof matte liquid lipstick because I don't know. I don't want to have green everywhere. I don't want to have any lipstick everywhere, but I especially don't want to have green everywhere. Okay, let me move in to the yellows. I'm not going to be wearing all of these. I'm not going to be wearing all of these because, listen, I have a lot of <laughs> yellow toned lipstick. I have five here. I have six here. I don't want to talk about what happened there. I have six here. This is too yellow for me. Uh, let me show you like the difference. Uh, do you see the difference between these two? I don't know if you can on camera. This has a little like brown broken into it. This is from Belegant Cosmetics. It's not my favorite liquid lipstick formula, but they have very cool colors. And I've kept four of these in my collection because I feel like these are very cool and they have like a yellow undertone. This one is from Colored Rain. It is in Honey Mustard and this is just a straight up like mustard, like American mustard. American mustard is very yellow. It's, our mustard doesn't look like that. Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact, our mustard doesn't look like that. Um, but this one is just broken in with a little bit more brown and it actually makes it more wearable as a color. And that is Harvest from Belgian Cosmetics. I feel like this one, Tahiti Island, which is even more yellow toned, is something that I have worn a lot. And it's very similar to Melt's uh, golden. This is Melts Golden. I don't know if you can see, but they are very similar in tone and color. Very similar Tahiti Island and Golden from Melt. So I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna show you how I, because I know a lot of people when I put yellow leaning lipstick on, they're like, ew, it's ugly, it's not wearable, it's not flattering. I'm not trying to wear something flattering, but I will say if you do not have a yellow undertone, a yellow lipstick can look very weird on you. I do have a yellow undertone um, and I feel like on me yellow lipstick works. I like it. I know it's not for everyone and I understand and I respect it, but it's one of those unconventional lip colors that I really love. And again, if you feel like it's too much, you can always go in with the lip liner around to tone it down a little bit. But let me put this one on as well. Oh, I need to remove this one. Let me get a new wipe. <sighs> My lips are going to be like, bitch, what are you doing? Because I have a whole category of grays to go through as well. Oh my god, my lips are hating me. Okay, so this is what Tahiti Island looks like on me. I 
love this on me. Not the best formula, like I said, but I do have it in, like, the Melt Golden is pretty similar. I just, I love this. The other one that I really love is this one. I think it's called Daisy Dukes. No, this is Butterscotch Matini. Also so beautiful. And this is even a tinge... This is like a tinge browner moving into orange, but still a yellow brown. And this is the color that I wish another brand would come out with because I don't, I love this color, but it doesn't wear that gracefully if I'm going to be totally honest, but it's just so pretty. I love a yellowy like color on me, like a yellowy nude like this. So this butterscotch martini, can we have this color, but in another formula or just improve this formula I would love that so yeah this is how I feel about yellowy tone lipsticks and like I said you can always go on with like a brownish lip liner and blend it into the color if you feel like you want to tone it down a bit but I know a lot of people when they want to go for something that's like a nude but a bit more unconventional they go more into the lilac territory I cannot wear lavenders or lilacs or like really cool toned light mauves like that it just does not look good with my complexion and even though I don't really care what looks good when it comes to I'm, I'm more daring when it comes to like eyeshadow than I am with lip color but if you feel like yellow is just not gonna go with your skin tone at all and you want to have something that's not bright or dark I would maybe consider going into the lilacs or something like that if you have more of a pinky uh, undertone I know my best friend she is extremely fair like she is the lightest foundation in every foundation and most of the time foundations are not light enough for her and she has a very pinky undertone and she loves a, like a light like a nude on her looks great on her looks awful on me but looks great on her so just a tip okay last ca uh, category grace <sighs> i love a great lipstick but for me they have to be slightly warmly like a warm i'm going to show you what i mean otherwise again i don't feel like it looks good on me like i don't feel comfortable in it so here i have three grays these are Two, my two favorites. My two favorites are Survive the Clutters, and then it's one that I've never used, and I thought we'd use this one today, but this is London Fog by Gerard Cosmetics. This is not like a warm tone gray, because it's like not warm tone, but it's not like a gray gray, and there's like a depth to this one, and I love this one on. I think it's so pretty. Maybe I should wear that one on. And then we have the... This is more like a very gray taupe, and this is what I mean. Like, it needs to be a bit warmer this is mrs norris unfortunately another uh, luxe lipstick from colourpop that's no longer available i did get this one from one of my subscribers when i met them in um san francisco very grateful thank you so much for gifting me this one i really really enjoy it and this one is beautiful and same here if you want to have something like gray and you feel like it's not perfect for you try something that's like almost like a brown that's so gray that it's like a grayish taupe and then we have this color this is i've never used it but it decided uh, like survived me the clutter because i thought it was so pretty and this is similar it's just lighter so this is moonwalk from nyx in a suede let me let me get this one off and i'll put this one on first because it's i mean it's a cool tone it's a gray but you can see it's not like a straight gray there is something else in this color that makes it more wearable as a gray really love that color okay so this is what it looks like and it, yeah it's gray it's it's definitely cool tone it's not like it's a warm tone gray but there's just something about this that according to me makes it look more wearable i I don't know what exactly. I mean, this is more like in burgundy. It's not the perfect color for this look, I'm going to be honest. But I I really like this lipstick. I think it's pretty. I've worn it quite a lot, even though admittedly it's been a while since the last time I wore it. It has a bit of a satin finish to it. It's just comfortable, goes on nicely, and I like this color. I feel like this is a very nice gray. It's broken in with a little bit of brown and I think a little bit of like maybe even purple because it is definitely a cool tone but yeah I really enjoy that uh, lip color I've worn it a lot and this is like I feel like this one is slightly lighter maybe or maybe it's just broken in with even a little bit more brown right because I feel like this is I mean it's not as brown as this one but it's definitely more brown than the one I have on my lips. So let's try this one on for the first time. I mean, it survived my declutter and I still haven't worn it. I'm an idiot. No, I'm not. I just have a lot of makeup. But let's put that on as the last lip color. And we'll see what it looks like. Oh, that was very messy. Uh, but it's the last one. It's okay. It's the last one. This one is called Moonwalk. Did I say that? 
I don't know. I'll try and link as much as possible down below if you are interested in any of these. Yeah, it's definitely not lighter. It's just like this one has like a, it looks like a velvet structure and it makes it look a bit lighter in the surface. But it's definitely as dark, if maybe not even darker than the last one, but there's definitely more taupe in this one. Okay, I love this one. It's like, again, it's like the green one. It's like a vampy lip, but just a different vampy lip. Because it's not black, it's not red, it's not brown either. It's, yeah, this is a perfect grayish taupe, and I really, why haven't I worn this before? It looks beautiful. Mm. I love it with this look as well. This, this is really nice. And this is the thing. Like an unconventional lip color can take your look from that's nice to ooh, that's interesting. And that's how I feel about these lip colors. It's not 100% about being flattering or being pretty according to the norm. It's what you feel pretty in. It's what you like. And yeah, I would love to hear about your favorite unconventional lip colors. And don't think that unconventional lip colors has to be blue and green. There can be other things as well. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you agree with my picks. Let me know if you have a favorite orange lipstick. I'm always in the market for more orange lipstick. I have more than these. Listen, I have more than these, but if you have a favorite, let this girl know. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here. And if you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out. And I will have a new video for you tomorrow. Bye.